Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh I'm Dinda Aprilia Alamanda I'm student of English Education Department Sultan Syarif Kasim Riau State Islamic University In this video, I want to show you current issues in English language teaching R.E.L.T. Based on the 7 article that I found Number 1. Improving Vocabulary Skills Through Reading in English by Mike Selby, Abject, on November 2019 Extensive reading in English with the help of a good English dictionary on a variety of real-life topics is one of the ways to learn English vocabulary. Because there are many reading material in English, English students must to prioritize reading on the subject according to a learner's need for using English to include the first most necessary, relevant, frequently used vocabulary. Daily topics sold to come the first in reading. It will be a good speaking practice for learners telling the content of the text that they have read. Learners can write keyword and break or mind ideas as a plan or questions on the text that require long answer to make easier for learners to tell the content of the text. Number 2. Demonstration technique to improve vocabulary and grammar element in teaching speaking at the AFL learners. Written by Muhammad Husnu, published on January 2018. The beginning treatment had an important role for the successful or the unsuccessful of our learners to learn speaking. The good treatments must give to our learners in the beginning of teaching speaking because the good treatment will give a good result for the success of our learners and in the upside. Generally, demonstration technique was effective used to improve our learners' speaking skill, especially for the element of vocabulary and grammar at the AFL learners. In this case, the teacher should use the demonstration technique to teach speaking. The demonstration technique made the process of learning more interesting and conductive. It could be sold from the enthusiastic study. The demonstration technique could help the students more easily understand and could raise the motivation of the students to get the success in learning speaking. Number 3. Researching with technology in ELT Written by Nikki Hockley 2018 The potential of the internet and digital technologies to increase and support research in ELT is undeniable. Social technologies are also effective in making publish and in-progress research easily to access to ELT teachers who may not themselves as researchers. However, those technologies need new approaches and practices that bring with them a range of considerations and warning that ELT researchers need to carefully consider if they are to use this tool and creative, ethical, and strong. Number 4. Speaking activities to foster students' oral performance at a public school. Written by Bucha Negra Bonilla Carolina and Ramirez Valencia Astrid. Published on July 2018. Using cartoons as an innovative teaching strategy improves students' oral performance in children. This use of cartoons in the classroom and including speaking activities not only promote oral participation but also interaction between students. 
It was recommended the English teachers include the use of cartoons as a teaching aid, as they are not only interesting but also motivate students to talk in English. English teachers can increase student learning experiences by displaying videos on different media searches found on internet because exposing students to the target language in different contexts. Number 5. The effect of sentence making practice on adult EFL learners writing NCD, a comparative study. Written by Yuan Yuan Liu, published on May 2020. Writing NCD is one of the most essential factors influencing language learning. Writing is generally considered as the most difficult aspect for EFL learners, which leads to a negative experience, causes a fright in the writing process, and block the development of writing ability. The teachers could add more activities and requirements during the sentence writing practice. Example, Competition on the number of sentences each group could make on given word or certain grammatical structures. To make it interesting as well as challengeable for learners' future development. Number 6. The effect of WhatsApp chat group in enhancing EFL learners' verbal interaction outside classroom context. Written by Amir Abdullah Minala, published on February 2018. The social network has opened up new opportunities of interaction and collaboration between teachers and learners, especially in language learning. So, with the growth of WhatsApp popularity, WhatsApp groups may contribute in expanding opportunities of verbal interaction through voice message. The study recommends that EFL teachers, particularly those who teach intermediate and advanced level, should adopt voice message chat on WhatsApp group as basic platform for expanding practice English language verbally outside classroom context. In addition, it recommends that some adapted lessons should be specified to be discussed on WhatsApp group, which may increase students' engagement. Number 7. The effects of YouTube in multimedia instruction for vocabulary learning, perceptions of EFL students and teachers. Written by Rania Kabuha and Tariq Alias, published on January 2018. The social media in recent years has been considered an effective tool to supplement the traditional teaching methods. One of these technologies that teachers use is YouTube. We of all teachers should be encouraged to use YouTube. In their classroom, YouTube has selected for the use in language classroom so be based on certain criteria including proficiency level of the students, their cultural context, and the lesson's objective. Therefore, teachers can make full use of the pedagogical implication of using YouTube videos in the classroom. The study indicates that the integration of YouTube has a powerful effect on the vocabulary recognition, comprehension, and retention of the target vocabulary. The current study should be taken as a foundation for other studies that need to be conducted for further validation and referencing. The significance 
of the result of the current study mandate. Future studies to be conducted on a mixed gender population on a larger scale. Future studies should also consider using a collection of English language institution instead of just one institution like the current study. Okay, I think that's all for my explanation about seven issues in English language teaching. Thank you for watching. Sorry for my mistakes. Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh.